Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, one more problem from CSIR NET 2021. And this problem is from uh, classical mechanics and from the topic special theory of relativity. And uh, this is a wonderful problem for the relativistic Doppler effect. So what is the problem? Let me first discuss this problem. So there is a source of radiation and it is moving away to a observer A and towards the observer B with the velocity or a speed v. So it is moving towards the observer b with the velocity v and away from observer a with velocity v exactly. And uh, the observed frequency for the radiation for b is nu b and for a is nu a. And it is also given nu b upon nu a is equal to 7. Then we have to find the value of v. That is value of velocity. So uh, from the relativistic Doppler effect, we know that new apparent is equal to new naught root under 1 minus v square upon c square upon 1 minus v upon c cos theta. And I can explain to you this particular uh, formula. New naught is the actual frequency with respect to source. So this is the actual frequency with respect to source. And V is the velocity of a source with respect to observer. So suppose this is velocity of a source with respect to some observer. And the light source is coming to observer with any angle theta. So this theta is this particular theta. This light source is coming to its observer with making angle theta and this theta is making with the velocity, the direction of velocity of source. So theta is actually angle between velocity of uh, source and the uh, at the angle where light is coming to the observer. So this is very interesting. So here it is also given that uh, these uh, A source and uh, B is in same line. So for new B, we can easily calculate nu b and for this particular nu b this theta is equal to 0 because it is coming towards in a same line so theta is equal to 0 so for the b condition is the light is coming like this and the source is also moving like this so for that particular value theta is 0 so we have nu naught 1 minus v square upon c square by 1 minus v upon c and this value is nu naught root under 1 plus v by c upon 1 minus v upon c. So this is your nu b. And for a perspective, what is going to happen? The light is coming into this direction, but source is moving into this direction. So theta is pi by 2. So nu a, I can use this space. So nu a is equal to nu naught. 1 minus v square upon c square 1 minus v upon c into minus 1 actually because theta is actually pi by this is pi so here theta is equal to 0 and here theta is equal to pi so if we are going to uh, simplify this equation then nu a is equal to nu naught root under 1 minus v upon c 1 plus v upon c and it is given nu b upon nu a is equal nu a is equal to 7 so nu b upon nu a is equal to 7 and that value is equal to actually 1 plus v upon c by 1 minus v upon c root under by 1 minus v upon c 1 plus v upon c root under so you can just see this whole thing. And once we will simplify this particular thing, then we will get 1 plus V upon C, 1 minus V upon C is equal to 7. And we have 1 plus V upon C is equal to 7 minus 7 V upon C. We will take it here. 8 V upon C is equal to 6. So V is equal to or V upon C is equal to 6 by 8 and that value is 3 by 4. So this is answer. So it's a wonderful question. You have to just remember the mother formula and after then you can just use the particularly 
this particular concept of theta and you have to always take care what is theta so theta is the angle between direction of velocity of source and at the angle it is coming to the observer and that is at it and the radiation is coming to the observer and this is the angle between these two so this is your c and this is your v and theta is that angle and similarly the for the basically towards if they are in the line and towards theta is equal to zero and they are in the line and moving away then theta is equal to pi this is the most important concept and you can easily use the concept of relativistic doppler effect thank you